Hey guys, I have some parts to make for an engineering student and friend at Loughborough Uni, Tom, or Unsettled Nerd on Instagram. Over the last year, he's been designing and making a small robot with some pretty clever design features, um, and thus far he's been 3D printing everything, but I'm going to make some aluminium and steel parts for him, specifically for a cycloidal drive system for one of the axes. Essentially, there are going to be three types of parts, an eccentric cam which spins cycloidal discs with an output carrier to collect the output, achieving a 40 to 1 reduction ratio in a pretty compact and efficient manner. Today I'm going to focus on making one of the cycloidal discs. So I'm going to make this from some quarter inch thick aluminium plate and first I'm going to face it and put some holes in it so I can use a fixture. I'm actually going to do this in two halves. First use toe clamps along the X axis, drill the holes and face half of the surface on the outer edges, then move the two clamps to be along the Y axis and face the remaining middle part. This face will become the bottom face of the part in the next operation. Next I made this fixture and four of the six parts have the same hole pattern on them so this one fixture will be used multiple times um, and the fixture just bolts onto the Saunas Machine Works fixture plate and has two dowel pins to locate it. Now I've bolted the prepared stock onto the fixture, the first thing I'm going to do is drill the eight holes along with a pre-drill for the main bore. Then I'm going to face the top side of the part using the same spiralling tool path as the bottom which looks pretty good. I face the part after drilling just in case any unbroken or stringy chips from the drilling don't swirl and scratch the face of the part, although this, this does subject the end mill to some interrupted cuts which isn't ideal. Then I'm going to come in with a 6mm end mill and rough out the main bore, do a semi finished contour, Check the bore diameter with a probe and a telescopic bore gauge um, and adjust the tool compensation if needed and then do the final finishing pass. Then I repeat essentially the same steps for the eight outer holes I drilled earlier these 9mm holes require a H7 tolerance which you typically get with a reamer, however I don't own a 9mm reamer so interpolating the holes is the best option in this case. Now all of the internal features of the part if you like are, are complete, so I'm going to add 4 bolts to hold the part in place whilst I effectively detach it from the rest of the stock. So coming in with the same 6mm end mill and slotting at 0.06mm feet per tooth with 3mm step downs. With this done, I'll remove the excess stock to give better visibility for the final part. Now I'm using a YG1 3mm 3 flute reduced neck slot drill from Cutwell at 0.045mm feet per tooth, full depth and a 0.45mm step over. It goes around a few times roughing away the material, leaving a 0.1mm stock to leave for a finishing pass at a slightly slower feed. And there we are, that's one of the cycloidal discs finished and it looks great. There are two more almost identical discs to make, along with the eccentric cam and output carrier mentioned at the start of this video. I'll be making videos covering those in the future too, so I look forward to seeing you then.